There has been lots of hype recently about digital currency, the most famous being the decentralized Bitcoin. According to Google, Bitcoin is a type of digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of units of currency and verify the transfer of funds, operating independently of a central bank. But let's not forget what it is at heart. It's just money. And with money comes problems. The Power of Bitcoin By power, I mean electrical power. Bitcoin uses a massive ledger called the blockchain to keep track of every Bitcoin transaction ever made. Without getting into too much detail, a lot of mathematics is involved, as well as a lot of guessing. You can read all the details for yourself with Dr. Karl Kruzelnitsky's The Security of Bitcoins. This guessing requires a lot of computing power. It is said that the Bitcoin network uses at least several hundred times more power than the top 500 supercomputers combined. Dr. Carl states that the Bitcoin network uses as much electricity as it takes to run two large hadron colliders at full power. So what is the point of using all this power? Are we creating something worthwhile? The value of a fiction. Let's face it, Bitcoin is an artificially created fiction. Nothing is being produced except for a large 100 gigabyte blockchain database, which gets bigger by the day. It's hard to justify the amount of electrical power that is being used to produce and maintain the network. One must wonder what would happen if all this power was instead used to power some public transportation, hospitals or schools. At least people can actually benefit from a hospital. So why are all these people investing in high-end computer systems to participate in mining, i.e. the process of adding transaction records to the blockchain? Of course, the answer is money. By mining, users are rewarded with new bitcoins. This is only economically feasible if their power expenditure is less than the value of the bitcoins being mined. Miners in China were recently busted for stealing electricity to power their high-end computer systems. Bitcoins maintain their value by being inherently scarce. If people were allowed to produce as many as they like, hyperinflation would ensue. Part of their programming is that there can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin, creating a scarcity. And of course, we all know about the capitalist scam of artificial scarcity. Show me the money. Many people buy Bitcoin simply as an investment. Because of its very nature and human greed, the Bitcoin market is a speculative one. Just look at its historical value. It has had huge volatility and is far from a good investment. Of course, you'll see interviews with people who have made millions of dollars investing in Bitcoin, but they are usually the exception. More often than not, they have something to flog. Bitcoin proponents argue that the digital currency is the next big step in global finance. They argue that it's safe, non-taxable, fee-free, and cannot be tracked. However, there is one big flaw. It's still money. And because it is money, it suffers from all the same drawbacks. As long as there is money, there will be people who have obscene amounts of it, and there will be people who have none. The Bitcoin network, as with any other financial system, is inherently exploitative. Somebody wins while a lot of people lose. People who invest in Bitcoins are trying to become rich by doing very little. The technology still allows greed in all its forms. As I noted in Stratification in Society, Analogy of the Antelope, the upper class often do very little to attain and preserve their wealth. Bitcoin is another way for a few individuals to become obscenely wealthy. They want to be able to sit back, enjoy their wealth, and participate in interviews praising them for their superior intellect and wise investment choice. As a society, we should be instead trying to do away with money. It only empowers the rich and allows exploitation of the poor. As I'm sure I have said before, we should be creating a network that allows the hungry to eat, the cold to be warm, and the sick to be treated without financial burden. With all of our modern technology, it is entirely possible. Bitcoin is not the answer to all the woes of the world. At best, it's a transitional technology towards a better, fairer system.